Hey guys, my name is Sam and today I want to take a quick look at the Air Max 2 Lite by Nike in collaboration with Japanese retailer Atmos. These release on Friday the 5th of April 2019 and it comes with your classic red and white Nike box. I would have loved the special box design but they did throw in some extra volt and purple laces which was a nice touch but we're not here for the box so let's get right into the shoes. This is the Air Max 2 Lite Atmos by Nike. Longtime collaborator and Japanese streetwear and sneaker retailer, Atmos takes on a 90s inspired super colourful patchwork Air Max. This features a multicolour nylon stitched upper with numerous swoosh and Nike Air logos in print, heat pressed as well as embossed at the toe. This shoe swaps the leather overlays for a transparent rubber exoskeleton with more Nike Air branding at the heel. At the tongue you can see an almost Aztec feeling Air Max 2 light tongue patch and just in case you needed more Nike branding, you can see the red synthetic leather swooshes that sits on both sides of the mid panel. All of this sits on a white midsole with clear air bubble units that exposes a pink and neon green paint splatter design. This is then finished off with a purple, sky blue and white outsole. The only thing premium feeling about this shoe is the fleece lining and the insoles. Apart from that, this shoe feels very cheap. It also feels heavier and less comfortable than the Air Max Lite Retro, which is confusing for me since this is a special collaboration, which usually improves materials as well as comfort. But instead they swapped the padded mesh for nylon, which is not breathable and it isn't waterproof either. Honestly, from looking at pictures, I thought this shoe had lots of potential for that quirky, colourful retro runner, but instead it just feels cheap and at best childish. The patchwork stitching, fleece lining and asymmetric details were a nice touch, but I will recommend going up half a size in these because the stiff nylon and rubber overlays locks on the foot a lot tighter. The patchwork theme is cool, but I wish they went a little bit more subtle with the colours, reduced the branding and also used more premium materials. Even a standard mesh used on the OG would have been better. I'm not saying that this shoe is terrible or you shouldn't buy them, I just feel like 135 is a lot for these. The Air Max Lite OG cost £110 and now they're in the sales for 60 to 70 Why pay £135 for a less comfortable shoe with cheaper materials? I just like to be honest with you guys and give my suggestion to save money as well as style the kicks. So I still think it's a good shoe. But let me know if you agree, disagree in the comments below. Did you pick these up? Did you pass? And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment patch to show me you watched this video to the end. Please subscribe if you like my content and as usual, all of the links will be in the description. Apart from that, have a good day.